All right, welcome to week 11 of the Inner Series. And you may be wondering what happened in week 10. Unfortunately, I was a little sick, so I was not able to come out with that. But while I was gone, a few things did happen. Starting out, still no level increase, and we should be getting one in patch 3.0. Next, you wanna go to your artificial island, and you wanna go back to casual, hit building, and you wanna make sure you hit the present so that way you can collect your resources, because remember, you can only hold these for 24 hours. On top of that, you wanna check your exchange door because the week resets next week, and you wanna make sure that you kill your bosses because they will reset tomorrow as well. And hopefully you got lucky and got an old man today. If not, hopefully some of your friends did so that way you can get some really nice resources. Also in the casual tab, you got fishing. Ideally, you want to try to get your level to nine. That way you can buy your weekly standard matrixy. If you're just starting out with fishing, I recommend that you get 100 to 150 green bait. That way you can buy purple bait. And if you don't have enough time to level up your fishing, you can at least use up your available bait for the week by buying all of the purple bait. Next, you want to do Mia's Kitchen and you want to knock out your four bounties for the day. And I'm going to go with the Sparrow because they're much easier to do. Next, we got Vitality, starting with Joint Operations. So you want to make sure that you do your Joint Operations at least one time a day so that way you can get your daily free matrix shards. And if you're saving your Vitality, solutions, I recommend that you take a look at this instance of fix because on Fridays we should be able to get Habawella or Silka matrix shards. But next we have Interstellar Exploration and you want to check Vera as well as check Aspera so that way you can see all of your Stargates. And how you can tell if you have a level 3 Stargate is if this weapon battery category has a number 3, it's a level 3 Stargate, but if it has a number 2, it's a level 2 Stargate. But if you don't have any level 3s or level 2s, you could always do Dimensional Trials. And you can simply click Go and click Quick Battle so that way you can use up all of your Vitality or just a little bit depending on how much you want to use. And you can do the same for Matrix Data Packs or Go. Which brings us to our optionals and that is giving gifts to your 1.0 characters. And the best way to do that is to go to the black market and talk to Hopkins, see this island and do the claw machine, or knock out your two trainees for the day. Next, I have to add Meoria Fun Zones to the optionals depending on where you are in your account. If you have most of the Gachapons cleared out, I don't really recommend that you do these every day since we get quite a bit of Mira from events. And if you're someone who's buying the weekly daily supply box, you're going to get a lot of Mira from that as well. But if you have not already cleared out the gray space, I do recommend that you do your six gray space fishers. But the biggest rewards are in the twilight zone but you do have an eight hour time limit so you could wait on that and don't forget to do your racing before the end of the month so that way you can get that free 400 mira and with it being the end of the week you want to make sure you do your security force so that way you can get those old vera coins in mira and don't forget to do your opponent research because remember you can only hold a grand total of 20 energy and you get five free energy a day so you want to make sure that this does not cap and if you enjoyed these weekly guys i would greatly appreciate a like so that way it can spread more on youtube next we have our events hopefully logged in enough time so that we got everything from the supply run and nightmare's edge is about to end so if you were having trouble with this earlier, they did lower the difficulty. So you should be able to clear all the rewards, even if you do nightmare mode. And then we have our new event, Meoria Fast Lane, which this event is pretty simple. If you've done the Meoria dailies, you'll be familiar with the system to where all you have to do is shoot the blocks. But now you're challenging three other individuals and you're trying to race them to the finish line. Then you still have 15 days to get Rubilia, as well as all the reruns that come with her. But Rubilia is a high investment character to where where she needs a lot to support her for her to really bring the damage and if you want to find out more i did do a video discussing how strong she is also i want to point out that patch 3.0 should be coming out very soon if you take a look at the sound of the sea tab you're able to see that in 15 days these events end which is similar to patch 2.4 to where once this ended we were basically in patch 2.5 so i think it's pretty safe to say that either on the 27th or 28th we're going to be in patch 3.0 on the Japan Tower of Fantasy Twitter, they already had a video showcasing patch 3.0. And for a quick reminder, it seems like they finally fixed the bug to where Ronnie did not offer anything in the exchange store. And this happened in the middle of the week, so now Ronnie is able to offer us resources. So Ronnie is located right here, and he should look like this. So now we can finally purchase items from Ronnie. And with it being the end of the week, you want to make sure that you purchase these three items. The mini pelican shard, the energy, and the potent omnium crystal because we may get to a point to where we're going to need more of these if they increase our suppressor level. So for the mini pelican shard, the main thing that you really need to get are swordfish fins, where I would say the best location is around here. You can go over to this space rift and you can just swim on down to this location. 
And for the energy, your hardest item is just going to be finding Amberus. And these are basically bubbles that drop off a well, so they are kind of annoying to get. So if you're not able to fully get this one, I can understand. And for the Potanomian Crystal, all of these should be fairly easy to get. Probably your hardest one are going to be the Snout Snail Wings which all you need to do is just kill large snails with a physical weapon. Then we got the weekly tab. You want to make sure you do enough things down here so that way you can get everything up top, which brings us to our challenges. So if you're trying to do something like the Bygone Phantasm or Frontier Clash, you may want to save your Mia's Kitchen so that way you can power yourself up. Starting with the Bygone Phantasm. So again, I recommend that you take a look at this weapon bonus. If you have a good weapon bonus, then you may want to do this sneak to next level. And if your CS is high enough, you're going to be able to jump up a level levels as long as you can beat that floor. But the biggest thing that will determine your rank is Sequential Phantasm. If you're able to get a high score here, most likely you're going to get the top rewards for the week. Frontier Clash. You want to make sure you knock this out so that way you can get that goading gear. Origin of War. If you still have not cleared the final stage, don't worry. As long as you clear it within the last week or two weeks, you should be able to get all of the rewards. Void Rift. This is the first time boss for you. You want to go ahead and knock that out. Void Abyss. You want to try to go ahead and knock all of this out since this now offers Titan gear. Now, this is the tech that I use. I went in there as like flame DPS. But one thing that I do want to tell you is that if you do have a rainbow team and you get rainbow buffs, that is very powerful in Void Abyss. Ray, you want to make sure you knock this out before the week ends. Ideally, you want to try to do it on challenge. But if you find that too difficult, then you can always do heroic because all you're going to miss out on are a few clusters. Break from Destiny. You want to make sure you do this at least one time before the end of the month so that we can get that 250 Dark Crystals. Arena, if you're trying to reach Grand Marshal, then you either want to do Apex League or Critical Abyss for a few hours. Then we got our daily buys. So you want to go to shop, aunt. And then when it comes to Vitality Solutions, I'm going to pass because I feel that my gear is pretty strong. Plus, I already have 40. But if you feel that you do need some Vitality Solutions, I wouldn't recommend getting no more than two. But one thing you do want to try to buy are your advancement modules and your booster modules for the week. Next, we have the commentary. You want to make sure you buy your Potent Anatomy Crystal 2, your Advancement Modules, your Booster Modules, your Core Control Modules, and your Augmentation Factor for the week. And if you still need Vera Special Gifts, go ahead and buy that. Space Time Store. You want to make sure you buy your Booster Modules, your Data Repeater, and your Advancement Module 2 for the week. And if you have some extra Crystal Fragments, you could consider buying IP Shards. Cruise Store. Now, the only thing that I recommend that you spend your points on are Relics. And the Relics that I recommend are either Omnium Shield, Space Time Rift, maybe a Drone Level 3, or Hologram Projector. Support Store. You want to make sure you buy your Gold, your Space Time Crystal Dust, your Space Time Crystal Fragments, and if you can, Black Nucleus. And with your return support points, you want to buy your space time crystal fragments, your radar detectors, your proof of purchase, and your gold nucleus. And if you need help on how to do that, I got a guide on my channel. Point store. Now, the only thing that you want to spend your points on are spare special gifts, so that way you don't have to do training, black market, or Cedar's Island again. But if you need to level up your matrices or weapons, you could always buy matrix data packs or weapon batteries. But besides that, I just recommend that you explore the map so that we can get those extra resources so that we can get the characters that you want. Well, hopefully you guys enjoyed this. If so, feel free to check out my How Strong Rebellia video is. But other than that, I'll talk with you guys later.